Where are you? You will never guess who just talked to me. Okay, so I was in line at the bar and some stranger just compliments my shoes and they turn around and it's Claudia freaking Greco Caleb. And don't pretend like you don't know who she is. I have to go. Melissa? Hello, Hannah. What are you doing here? I live here. Well, not in this bathroom, but nearby. No, this event. Fashion week, did you change careers? I came with a friend who ditched me because I've spent the entire night sobbing into my phone. Is that drink yours or mine? Uh, yours. Mm. How's Ren? He's gone. He left me. That scheming nut job who made your life a living hell has now moved on to mess with mine. You mean Charlotte? Who the hell gave that twisted sister phone privileges? I mean, how does someone with her resume get put under penthouse arrest? I try not to think about her. You know, forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. A leopard doesn't change its spots. Wait, did she call you? No, she called Ren. And clearly she shared information with him because he's been looking at me for the last week like I should be the one locked up. And is that because of Bethany Young? If she's willing to tell him, who else is she gonna tell? You know, we all have a past, Hannah. Aren't you curious what she plans to use against you? Here, why don't we call her and find out? Melissa, stop. Someone needs to shut her up for good. Melissa, give me my phone. I'm doing you a favor. You'll thank me one day. Hi, this is Allison De Laurentiis. Can I speak to my sister, Charlotte? Give me the phone. Well, wake her up. She has her whole life to nap. Tell her Hannah wants to say hi. Melissa, stop. No, I don't want to speak to her doctor. I want to speak to my bloody sister. Put Charlotte on. I don't want to hear her voice. Well, you have a funny way of forgiving, Hannah. Why didn't you tell me about this when you came home from that trip? She didn't want another person telling her that she wasn't over it. Well, neither was your sister. So can you at least find out if Melissa called that night from the diner? Thanks. I mean, Gail said that it would get troubleshooting. Just so. Hey, I wanted to say congratulations, but by the time we got home, you were already asleep. Oh, it was an exhausting day. What's wrong? Apparently, while I was recording the speech, a story came out intended to crush my opponent. Well, that's politics. Some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the statue. Don't be glib. This could destroy all the goodwill Mom just earned. How? Why would anything about Christine Phillips affect Mom's speech? It's not about Christine. It's about her daughter. Yvonne? Why, what did she do? She got rid of an unwanted pregnancy in high school. And someone was able to dredge up a medical report, which is more than just a little embarrassing when you're running on a pro-life platform. Oh my God. Yeah, it gets worse. The Phillips camp believes the leak came out of our office. There's a full-on investigation underway. Any idea who would have put that out there? <laughs> 